Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. All right, so I figured today, well, I definitely need to go run some errands. I need to get some stuff to finish my coffee bar. I mean, it's not even like started. My Christmas coffee bar slash hot cocoa bar. If you don't know, I'm pregnant, so I can't really drink coffee like I normally like to. So this season, I'm kind of more into the hot chocolate thing. And my daughter loves hot chocolate. So anyways, I'm trying to make this into a hot cocoa hot coffee kind of bar um so i want to get a few things for that i did get these little cute signs that say oh you can't really see them but i'll show them to you when we get started with that this video is kind of going to be a little bit all over the place probably um i need to get a couple more decorations being pregnant i've really been off my game the tiredness gets to me and i'm like i can't do any more today and so i just don't end up accomplishing as much as I would like to with my decorating and stuff. So I'm saying all that to get to this. I still need to decorate my Christmas tree. I have my Christmas tree up, but I don't have it decorated. I honestly don't even have it fluffed out. It's been up for like two weeks. I got a new one this year. As you, oh, look, she's so pretty. I got a non-flocked one for this year. Last year, I saw a picture of Joanna Gaines Christmas tree and it wasn't flocked and it I think hers might have been real but it looked so beautiful and so when I was in um the what's it called what's it called what's it called in Atlanta in January this past January with my parents at like this big trade show kind of thing for they had like Christmas stuff and regular stuff I saw this tree and I fell in love with it it looks so pretty I still have to like take the tag off but the branches look so like realistic. It's so pretty. And then it has these little pine cones on it. I just adore it. This main tree is the only tree I'm gonna actually decorate. Honestly, I could leave my tree just like that and be completely happy with it without any decorations on it. I just love the way Christmas trees look, you know, alone with some lights on it. Oh, they're so pretty to me. So. It really doesn't bother me that it's not been decorated yet, but I know like I need to decorate. I mean, I don't need to do it, but I just feel like I should, but I would be like completely happy with it still if it wasn't even decorated because it's just still so pretty with just the light. I haven't decided how I'm really going to decorate it. I have a couple ideas. Um, so I want to get a few picks for it, you know? I wanted to get just like a couple other little like garlands little garlands for i want to put around where my little like stocking holder thing i want to add a little bit of garland to that and in my bathrooms like above the mirrors i thought it would be cute if i can find something that's not too expensive and like a lightweight garland other than that i really don't want to buy anything else christmas decor wise i just need to like get it done to where i feel good about it and be like it's good enough we did it it's pretty, let's move on. You know what I'm saying? Cause we're not even done Christmas shopping. So still gotta finish that. Are you guys done Christmas shopping? Let me know. Last year I was done by like December 1st. This year, not so much. Look at my little Christmas uh, purse. My backpack is from Disney. I love it. Isn't it so cute? Look at it. Oh, I love it. Cookie Christmas jar. What? Yeah, cookie jar, Christmas jar. That's only 10 bucks.
number one, it is hot. I do not need this jacket on. Number two, I'm so thirsty. Oh my goodness, what is the temperature? 76 degrees outside, it's hot for a jacket. I found some stuff that might work for the hot cocoa coffee bar. We'll see, but I did get these gluten-free, I'm not gluten-free, but they were just there. Gluten-free peanut butter bites. I don't know, they're little protein balls. So I thought I would give those a shot because I am hungry and I need some protein in my life. So the baby is saying, hey, give me some food, mom. I'm hungry. All right, I wouldn't say they're ridiculously tasty, like the claim on the front, but I think like two of them will do the trick. There's a Joann's, literally like right in this plaza. So I'm gonna go to Joann's real quick, and then I'll probably head home to get my daughter a snack, get her ready for dance, and then I'll take on whatever I can while she's in dance. I'm going to look for some little garlands at Joann's. Oh, and Christmas picks. No, yeah, Christmas tree picks. Let's see what they've got. I definitely should have started looking for little picks and stuff a lot sooner. They're not that, I mean, there's still stuff, but they've definitely been picked through quite a bit. Like, I kind of like these because that tree has, oh, this is gonna come out. So that tree has pine cones on it already, so it can look like some of it got hit with snow a little bit. $9.99 and 70% off. There's not that many of them though. Hmm, I kind of like this one too that has, has some pine cones on it and then these little like white balls. This one's $14.99 and then the 70% off. It's not terrible but I need quite a few so it's gonna add up. All of these garlands are way too big for what I need. I just need like little ones. Hmm. This is what you get when you wait to the last minute. Lesson learned, maybe. Well, that was a bit of a bummer. Joann's was not that great for me today. Wasn't great for me at all today, actually. I mean, I found a couple things that I could have possibly used as picks, like you saw, but I don't know. I feel like I need to go to Michael's first. I mean, I could have obviously gotten something and then returned it, but I hate returning things, so if I don't have to, like, I, what I saw isn't gonna go anywhere in like the next 24 hours. So I figure I will wait until Aunt Lennon is in dance and then go to Michael's and go check that out. I'm back in the car. I've got Lennon with me. Hi. You gotta come to the side a little bit. I don't think they can see you. There you go. I don't know. You can't hardly tell. But I'm about to drop this little munchkin off a of dance class. I hope you have a fantastic class. Pay attention, use your manners, try hard, and most importantly, what? Um, dance your heart away. <laughs> Have fun, silly goose. All right, I love you. I, I can barely fit in that spot. Here, hop out here. I love you. Anything on my feet? I don't know, but you need to put your hair up in a ponytail. I will. All right, have a great class. Okay. Love, love you. you. Bye. Bye. So crazy. My daughter's so big now. I mean, I can literally see her walk inside the door, so it's not like she's walking very far by herself. But it's just crazy. And then I'm about to have a baby. Not about to, but you know, working on it that you gotta do everything for. <laughs> and I'm, I've gotten to the point where with, with Lennon that I hardly have to do anything for. So crazy. Whew. Okay, 
Fingers crossed, Michaels does not let me down. There's a few more garland choices here than there was at Joanne's. All of those. They're all 60% off, so that's good. Oh my gosh, I hit the jackpot in Michaels for what I needed. I found picks that I think are gonna be perfect. They're not like flocked, but they look like they have like little ice on them, which is kind of like the thought that I wanted to go for, but I wasn't sure. And when I saw it, I'm like, yes, I think that'll be perfect for in the tree. Plus I found some little candy cane things. So either tonight or um, tomorrow, I'll do like a little haul from this trip and show you everything. I got like all the picks, I got, I got lots of things all for $80 plus candles that I wanted like little battery operated, um, like birch looking candles that I wanted for one of my lanterns. Oh, I'm so excited. So thank you, Michaels. Oh. It is the next day and I thought I would share a quick little, uh, Alan Bear. Alan Bear wants to say hi real quick. <laughs> Oh, he's so sweet when he just rests his head on his shoulder. Okay, so I wanted to quickly share the things that I picked up yesterday um, before I start decorating my coffee bar. Because that is what I'm going to tackle first. Before I even try decorating my tree, I am definitely going to do my coffee bar. So I grabbed this little jumbo cotton balls thing. I saw this as I was about to check out. I don't need it for the cotton balls, but I did like this little container um i like the little wood top and it's just glass i saw this when i first came in and i saw the big one first and then when i saw that they had little ones as well i was like mm. originally i was oh, first off look at this the little wood top and the christmas tree and it's just glass originally i was looking for something that was just glass that didn't really have anything christmasy that way i could use it at different times of the year and stuff but then when i saw this and saw the wood with just the little christmas tree i kind of fell in love <laughs> so i got two of those i'm pretty sure they are also bigger than i probably need so i'm gonna play around with it i might not keep them um i just decided to get them in case I want to use them. You can always take them back. These were only $7.99, so I don't think that was a bad price for these. And then the big one, which is over here. This just might be too big for my coffee bar. I don't know. The big one was only $9.99, and I, again, I just didn't think it was that bad of a deal, and I really thought they were cute. I was thinking maybe the hot cocoa could go in this one. Then this one could be like um, the marshmallows, and then this one could be candy canes, and then this one could be little chocolate chips. Uh -huh. oh, that, that was my idea when I got them. So as you can see, this is my main tree behind me, and I got this oh that color looks a little a little darker than i thought it was going to look with the tree but this just has the little like it looks like little like ice i thought about using this as little pick fillers for the tree pick fillers is that what it's called i don't know i'm going to see how this looks in there i think maybe it'll look good let's see yeah, I think that'll look good in there. I don't think that'll end up looking too bad in there. I also picked up these little burlap candy canes. <laughs> My dog's looking at it like, I wanna play with that. Uh, I thought these little burlap candy canes would be cute inside of the tree as well. So, play around with that. Okay, so I also picked up 
this set of the flameless candles that look like the birch wood. I've been wanting something like this and it has a little remote. I have a lantern that I want to use this in. So I, this was already on sale and then I had an extra 20% off at um, Michael's. So I figured this would be the perfect time to pick this up. And then I just picked up a couple of little garlands. I got ones to go above my daughter's bathroom mirror. My bathroom mirror just looks like that. And I thought that this kind of garland would be easier to maneuver and play around with than a thick garland. This was $20, but it was 50% off of that or 60% off of that. And then another, it was like 80% off. So super good deal. And then I got this one that's just more green and it has little red berries and a couple little pine cones in it. I thought that was real pretty. And then I got this red and white little, whatever these are called, ball things. I got this to go, let's see if I can turn you around my little stocking holder thing, I think. And then I just got one more little with the red berries and the pine cone and just that plain greenery. So that's everything I picked up. Let's pull this coffee bar, hot cocoa bar together, shall we? What do you guys do when you're decorating? Do you listen to music? Do you turn on a movie, a Christmas movie of sorts? I personally love decorating while watching or listening to Hallmark Channel, of course. Right now, I have on Miss Christmas. You are a Hallmark movie watcher. What is your favorite Hallmark Christmas movie? Let me know down below. use this little scarf from Dollar Tree last year. I don't know if they've had it out this year. I haven't seen it at any of mine, but you might have seen it at yours because you know all the Dollar Trees are different. But anyway, I'm going to put it back here. I used it last year like this as a runner as well and it turned out cute. So, and obviously if it gets dirty, you can just throw it in the wash, which is always convenient. So that's what we're going to do. I normally keep our coffee grounds in this little jar that is oh so old and I definitely need a new one. My daughter wrote coffee yay on there and it's 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 cracked. It's just it's it's seen much better days. So I think I'm going to transfer the coffee into this little guy. Um I've already washed it out. So yeah, just because I don't know, like I kind of like this I don't know, but the, hmm. I just don't know. But that's way more festive. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go faster. Why not? Why not?
So it's been a few days since I started this whole coffee bar, hot chocolate bar project, but I finally have reached the tail end. Last thing, I have a couple things that I'm going to add to the top shelf, this little Merry Christmas like milk jug thingy. And then I have a couple trees. And then lastly, I have some garland from Michaels. I'm gonna snip the garland apart. That way I can use the greenery to kind of add some greenery to the shelves and stuff like that. So that is my last step and my hot cocoa coffee bar will be complete. Yay! Some people stay far away from the glitter and the flockedness at Christmas. I'm the opposite. I'm drawn to it. I'm drawn to it. I can't help it. I love it. We don't even have to cut it. Look, just comes, comes right off. While I do this, I'm gonna put my Hallmark movie back on. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, I'm on my last bit of decorating. It's the last thing that needs to be done in the house. It's decorating my Christmas tree. I always save this for last. So I'm gonna show you all of the things that I have. I want this tree to just be fun and different. I wanted this to be a little bit more just like outdoorsy, um, like things that you do in the outdoor. I don't know. I got inspired. I remembered these Dollar Tree signs from last year and I thought, okay, this might be fun to put in the tree. And then I picked up some of these skis last year on clearance at the dollar spot in Target. Oh my goodness, it still is on there. And so I thought, I knew I had these skis. Then I thought about that sign. And, oh, this thing broke off. And I thought these were so cool. So I thought I could stick some of these in there along with my wood skis. So I thought that'd be fun. There's not like a ton of those in there. I have some of these picks that I had last year. I thought I might try and throw some of these in there just to add a little bit of white. And then I also have a few of these little stick things that I might try and put in there to add a little bit more white. And then some of these crystal looking branches I might use. Then I got some of these burlapy um, ornaments I thought would look good in there. And then the stuff that I showed you earlier, the candy canes um, and then the other picks. I have some ribbon. I'm pretty sure I'm not even gonna t try with the ribbon. I think, oh, and then the Dollar Tree, I thought maybe possibly add some of those in there as well, since it's like kind of like all outdoorsy looking, more natural, but with like a little bit of like the glam shimmery, and then that will be just like some fun pops of regular ornament looking things. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I'm out of breath just thinking about it and showing you the stuff. Um, but we're just gonna go with it. It's about having fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. I have to keep telling myself that this holiday season and holiday decorations are about what brings you joy, not perfection. I have to remind myself that all the time. Um, so yeah, let's just get to decorating this tree.
so I had to go get my daughter from school. That's why I'm out of my Christmas onesie. I didn't think it was appropriate to show up to pick her up from school in a Christmas onesie, you know. I mean, I would have totally embarrassed her, which would have been kind of funny. But anyways, so she's back home, she's playing with her friends, and I am going to get some more ornaments. So I've officially, my camera died earlier and I didn't realize it, but let me show you. I've made some headway. I'm feeling good about it. I officially have all the picks in, um, and basically the only thing that's left is to put some ornaments on it. So let me show you what I'm working with so far. Sorry the lighting sucks. It is so gloomy outside. It's been raining all day today, so. Okay, so I made a little like tree topper, kind of like fun whimsical thing. I think I'm gonna try and like scoot those branches a little bit closer in. Um, but you can see I added like the sticks and the candy cane picks. I started to put ornament. I've got those little picks and those. And I wish I had more picks but I don't, so I'm going to use all of these ornaments. And then I've got one more here. I'm gonna try and throw in the Dollar Tree ornaments. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed picking up the last minute things I wanted to get for Christmas with me and adding my finishing touches of decor to my space. I love my coffee, hot chocolate bar. I'm loving this tree. I love all the spaces. I'm so excited to share it all with you in my official holiday home tour that will be up next week, so stay tuned for that. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Stay tuned for my holiday home tour. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.